and gentlemen, welcome on back to the channel and a very special series in the Rocky Mountains hunting elk. I'm here with my good hunting buddy, John Thomas Earl Larkin. He's gonna be hunting with me. We are also joined by the born and raised guys and the hushing guys. It's gonna be a good week, man. I mean, I came up here last year, you gave me some tips, but I basically came up here alone and I, it was a big learning lesson. I was unsuccessful as far as getting an elk, but I was very successful learning and now I'm just thirsty for the knowledge. I was born and raised, they reached out to me, they watched my videos and they said, dude, you need help. And I was like, I will take your help. What do we need to do? So they said, let's go to the Rockies. We'll put you on some elk and show you how to bring them in, so. Dude, we've got some Everything. good teachers this week, for I know. sure. We have some awesome teachers. So what we're about to do is take our first shot with the bow after traveling for over a thousand miles. I think it was like 1300 miles we've traveled and we're gonna see if the bow's on. I wanna rock, Rocky Mountain elk. I'm gonna go ahead and say too, I, I was gonna carry in four arrows. JT said you need to carry five. So if something epic happens, we'll just put it on record. JT made me carry five arrows. <laughs> like maybe I lose four and then the last one just comes in clutch. That was just yeah. my 20 pin. There you go. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be okay. 1300 miles, she's still all right. The final moments before we go in. We've got Trent here from Born and Raised. Just, just loading up. Could get western, you never know. It could get western out here. A lot of grizzly attacks. Well, how much am I about to learn? Because, you know, last year it was it was pretty tough. I know you guys noticed that. Um, <laughs> I didn't notice anything. I, I, I think you did. Honestly, what I love about taking people is just, usually I learn just as much as you do. So it's one of those things where we do the same thing every single time. You'll Like I was telling you earlier, you're gonna get bored hearing a bugle every 20 seconds of the day until it actually works. So God, I cannot wait. We're gonna, hopefully tonight, hopefully we can get one going tonight. But but yeah, no, it's just gonna be the same old thing, but just being around new people, getting to meet new friends, man. That's what it's all about. Oh, dude, it's Hunt so camp. Awesome. It's awesome. It's gonna be hunting camp. We're gonna have a blast, I guarantee it, so. Well, so we're gonna we're gonna go in tonight. We're gonna hike in and do a little bit of calling. Maybe try to get a couple bugles, get a direction it, yeah. going. It's not gonna be like oh, well, if it's doable. We're not gonna say well, I get him tomorrow. There may not be tomorrow. Let's get him now. Gotcha. So tomorrow okay. could be a whole new bull because these bulls this time of year it's real early. It's the first of season, and so they're moving a lot. It's not like especially in terrain that we're hunting. They're not just gonna stick right there. So we'll be moving a lot, and so if we get on them, we try to work them as soon as we get on them. You know, if the wind's good. If the wind's not good, that's going to be the only thing. That's where we're going to learn. Yeah. We're going to learn. We'll have some fun. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to learn, their channel is linked down below. Born and raised. I've watched a ton of their videos. They know what they're doing. Trust me. So they've got tons of videos educating um, anyone that wants to go elk hunting on how to do it. And they are legit. So we're about to go get in these woods and do some we're gonna have some assistance here today. The Baku, how do you say this, Casey? What? Baku? Baku. Baku? Baku. Baku. This is an electric bike. You pedal it, but you also have juice. It's awesome. Just watch this. He's on X Games mode. He used to use a pack mule or a horse. Now you got a two-wheeled electric bike. GoPro action update. Well, 30 minutes in. Two wheels to two feet. We hit some bad rocks. Had to ditch the bikes. 
So me, Trent, JT, we're hoofing it right now. The other guys, Casey, the camera guys, they're on four wheelers. Or one's on a four wheeler, one's on a bike. And uh, we're hoping that they're gonna come back down here at some point and maybe get our packs or something. Pick yeah. us up. There's some dung. What kind of dung is that, Trent? Bear. Bear dung? That was gonna be my first guess, but I didn't want to look stupid. I've never ever seen a black bear in here, but there's always a first time for everything. And we didn't get a bear tag. No bear tag. I see 10 of them. <laughs> probably see a number That's of them. That's how it goes. Trent's kind of bugling and stuff as we're going in. We're going to try to get that first bugle once we get to camp. Just I don't even know how far away it is. A long ass way. Five miles, four miles, eight camp miles. from here, probably somewhere around eight. Eight. Probably. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, camp is anywhere we want it to be, right? That's true. We've got it right here. It's on our so, this could be camp. We're here. You know, so you know, we'll get up in there and we'll, we'll do some good here. All right. We're well, starting to get thick. We're almost at 10,000 feet. So this is about where we should start seeing it. Oh, yeah. Right? It's starting to get good. We're going to get off the beaten path, literally. We're going deep. I'm just a, I'm a shuttle service at this point. It's like Uber. We'll pick you up. So how, how many we got uh four dudes one bike. it's gonna work it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna work. have to work it's gonna happen. four wheeler just showed up uh so if you guys are wondering bikes are chained up to a tree locked down they're so heavy anyway no one's gonna take them but <sighs> we have this where am i am i riding up front on the handlebars or what Dude, the trail gets a little bumpy it gets a little bit sketch so it gets a little bumpy how do i need to are how we, far up there is it well, that's just, the thing is we're, it's, we're about probably three quarter miles where they're at, but then it's like another it's a long way, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to have to get off the quad anyway or get bucked off. Okay. Let's figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll make want, it. This is what everybody I, wants to I see. I've got a hold up family. Trent. Oh, check it you out. You want to touch that's GoPros? It. GoPro oh, Towers. Let's do it. Let's do it. Touch. Dip touch. <laughs> Boys, be careful. I just hope we don't have any mishaps. No packs. No, no bows the get thing that's thrown. Going wrong is if the Excalibur takes a ditch right there in the back. That's going to be the end, oh, of, boy. end of the trip right there. No packing is terrible. This might be a good time to, for me to work on my call, you know? Yeah, we can go through it's a like call seminar. We're on a unit we can't hunt right now. I can get yeah. some lessons from Trent. Yeah, let's do it. You can tell me the ways. <laughs> a little cow? Oh, yeah. Hold it a little bit longer. Hold it a little bit longer. I'll let you down, Trent. Get it? Let's see what you get. No, that was, I mean, that was, that was. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. That's going to call in any elk on this mountain, promise you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie, it beats walking. Holy <laughs> moly, look at that. I'll take it at this point. Y'all better hold on. Whoa, okay. I'm going to grab your waist. Don't think it's weird. It's weird. Y'all just hold it on. Know, man. Way. Sometimes you just nice gotta do it. Okay, this one gets a little dicey. We might yeah. need to take some weight off. Dismount? Yeah. yeah. You go first. Here, I tell you I what. Just take a little weight off. Oh boy. This is where we're at, y'all. Now the goal is just try to get to our unit we can hunt in by dark. Are we close to the unit yet? I think the unit's right here. Really? <laughs> Start shooting, boys. Start Let's shooting. crack one off. Let's, Let's get him going. We're um, we're a ways from where we wanted to be. <laughs> yeah. Like is in. So is camp gonna be close to here tonight? You think? Yeah. Unless you want to hand up, headlamp it. I'm taking my four wheeler going. <laughs> I think yeah, that's I think the that's play. Good we just go up here a ways. Ditch the four wheeler. Get go into on. our unit. Our unit's literally like right here. Yeah. Just get to our unit, find a camp spot. It's the thinking time. 
getting the game plan. So we're a little bit later getting up into our unit hiking in than we expected. We had a few issues. There's always issues along the way. You gotta adapt and overcome. So that's what we're doing. Um, I think we're gonna camp somewhere close to here now that we're in the unit and we can start hunting and just work our way through, hunt our way through. That's kind of what it sounds like, but I'm gonna leave this to the experts. I'm learning. Yeah. I mean, we got a couple minutes if we could get something going out there, but if not, let's just get where we can hear, set up shop. I like Have it. a great evening. Give her a dangle. Give her a dangle. Yeah. Great That's evening. What we're doing. Yeah. God, it feels good That's to be up here, though. Mm. Yeah. We do have fishing poles, just in case the trout decide to come out. But it's all about the arrow first before the hooks. 9,800. So yeah, we're going down, just to into there. Yeah, we're gonna be dropping into all of this. There might be a uh, couple of little cliffs in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just kind of... <laughs> this is an honor. The first it's just, bugle crack. It's big. It's big time. It's a big moment. It's a big moment. I gotta choose what oh, I want to go with. Oh man. Is this the reason? Life has we on this moment. Which one is the yellow? The yellow? Committed. Committed. Yeah. Like me. Exactly. Hopefully. First fuel of the year right here for me anyway. Seriously. Mm, self jacked up. Okay, remember, keep it, keep it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Finish it. Sorry, go ahead. It's a lot of pressure. Go, go no, ahead. No pressure. Go, go ahead. Daddy's home. Come on, man. <laughs> They're coming in. <sighs> that was good. That was good. I could just tell you the way that one started. <laughs> we're, 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 we're headed backwards. <laughs> I'm not going to say it was top 10. <laughs> and then start pressure, 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 pressure. Bison Ranch Mashers. That's a trial run, isn't it? Yeah, I've never had this one. Dude, you, I can't go wrong. Oh, I can kiss you on the Good way to start the hunt. Time to take them boots off. And head to bed. Wow. I just got the full blast of my flashlight here. Give me just a sec here. So we are gonna tap it out for the night. We got all of our tents lined up and everything. And, um, there's nothing to do up here at night except, you know, just kind of get a game plan, talk a little bit, and then you just go to bed, sleep with the, the mountain crickets. We're right at the edge of our uh, our unit. We're going to be hunting in in the morning, and all is good, guys. So uh, we'll catch you up to speed in the a.m., and hopefully get a bugle cracking off first thing. JT? Beautiful. Good, man. Felt good. I didn't hear anything yeah. except the sound of JT's out. little <laughs> cow call. He had like a weird snore that sounds like a cow call. It's wild. We are all set, ready to go. Uh, last night was a little brisk. It was good. My good buddy John Thomas Earl Larkin just uh, just came out of a a hole doing the morning deeds. Yep, coffee made you have to go poop. So you're ready now. I'm ready, dude. Yeah, let's go. From here on out, Bo is going in the hand. Backpacks are packed. Everybody is, is ready to go.
We've got a lot of sign right here. So there's, we got poop on the ground. We got beds right here. Trent's saying they're two days old. And uh, the wind's super swirly in this area. So, so generally, morning thermals usually go down. It always pulls that cold air down. So, and in the evening, it does the same thing. But around that 10 o'clock hour or so, the thermals will change from that sun starting to heat up and it'll start pushing the thermals up. So we try to kind of generally, if you can, usually we're just wandering around aimlessly till we find a bugle and then we'll kind of really gotcha. get things dialed in. Waiting on that first bugle. Yeah. So ready. like two days old sign they're just gonna be yeah a couple miles they're, deep yeah they're just pushing but they could come in here last night you know and refeed in here you know so okay. it's just this crap shoot because they're getting you know they're just doing their thing just hiking around doing their thing okay. just keep going till we till we get one got some really good stuff down over so where are those like openings you're talking about? Right okay. down here. Okay. Right down there. Is this a good feeding time or do they start laying down? They're just moving right now. So this is like a bedding area. You see all this where they've been bedding? It's like come thick, stuff. tall grass bedding. Yeah. And like that's why I go so careful through that grass because sometimes it'll be like a two foot hole and just throw you. You gotta be careful. Let's just keep kind of just kind of going this way. I know the wind's tired. It's terrible, but we just got to right now just hunt until we find them. Okay, I'm in a hunting mood. We're, we're in the hunting mood. out so using a filter bag Get some of that juice sweet Mountain Dew keep going I've drank so much water up here this week the altitude just sucks it right out of you and since we're gonna be living off our backs for about four days we have to get our water so I've never used this system before this is Sawyer squeeze but it goes on the filter and then you squeeze it into your drinking bottle so it's just not a good flow it's gonna take a minute ladies and gents fresh clean water uh, that was a 32 ounce pouch i had to fill this thing up twice with that bag to get it to up to the top but hopefully that'll last me the rest of the day I have enough to cook with and all that maybe not though we're sucking down a lot of water out here, but it's time to go play with the elk again. First bugle. First bugle of the trap. First bugle. Faint. Right there. This way. This way. This way. Was that a cow or a bull? Could you see it? Like a sad bull. Was it? If I had to guess. Hey, could y'all see that bull? He was a good bull. He was legal. Was he? He was a legal bull. That bull's bigger. Back here. Let's just stab him. He's all bugling. Jump out front here. Get a good shooting light. What's the plan? Oh, the bull. He's over in here, it sounds like. That satellite ran down here. He may loop back. Let's just get some shooting lanes. If you can get out just enough, get in front of some stuff, get some shooting lanes. I'll jump back up here. Casey will be up here just in case he tries to circle. He's up. 
not that way, didn't it sound like it? Same tone. Yeah. Do you think it was that bull that came in and now he went back? I think it's the bull that, yeah. Do you think it's the same satellite bull? But there was another bigger bull up bugling, up and around. And then this guy we keep hearing. This bull though, he had a lot more growly. Oh, there's one up even higher. Yeah, he's like around like that. Bull lines, that's what it's about. Bull lines. <sighs> All right. Actually, for a beginner, that's not terrible. Is it? <laughs> not terrible. I'm trying to get some style points going on. Yeah. Casey has to use the multicolored so he doesn't go straight blackface. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty good. Neck and chin. Neck and chin. Oh, we're going full neck? Really? Do you want to kill an elk? Yeah, I want to kill an elk. I want to get that. <laughs> okay. Well, then there's that. I like it. <laughs> God, you look like a frog, man. That's what you want. Anybody? You look like Kermit. I got brown, too. <laughs> I'm just gonna wake up. Happy all day long. sure the wind was good but either got distracted or I don't know something threw him off but it was close it was probably 150 yards away so I don't know put air in it first blow it up blow it yeah Okay, folks at home, a little midday update here. It's two o'clock. We have been trudging through and calling for miles. We've had three elk bugles, like three identifiable elks, three attempts, unsuccessful. And according to Trent, here up in Colorado, it's normally like an eight, uh, eight count. So once you get to like seven, the next one, the next attempt is gonna be the deal. But something that is really cool that we have just discovered is that there are brook trout 
and some of these streams that are leading into a lake that's out here. Uh, if you watched my videos last year, I tried to fish some remote lakes. I had a big lake that I caught a lot of fish out of, but I tried to go up in the mountains, higher elevation, catch some, some fish up there, and none of them had fish, or at least none that I could see, and we're visually starting to see fish. Let me show you guys what's going on. So we just came down uh, about a thousand feet from where we were elk hunting, and we've got a stream right here, and there's some little brook trout when we first showed up in the stream. So this is gonna lead out into the lake. And I think we can keep these if they're under eight inches, but there's also other species up there. There's cutthroats, uh, there's probably some browns. And then we can make those into some tasty treats. Not, I was gonna say crispies, not golden crispies. Oh man, y'all, it's so good to just live off your back. I gotta say, it feels good. Up here, born and raised, hushing. These guys are linked down below if you want to check them out. They do this a lot more than I do, but there's a reason they do it. They're addicted, and it is addicting. So I brought my fly rod. We are going to go to the lake, uh, but we're going to hunt until we get there. So that might be the next episode. Hopefully there's an elk in between that, but we'll see. Wish us luck.